the issue of female sexual harassment has been a pervasive problem for years. But a recent survey conducted by UN Women UK showed that 97% of women aged 18 to 24 in the UK said that they'd been sexually harassed. And 80% of women of all ages said that they had been sexually harassed in public spaces. So, you know, the figures are horrific, uh, but they're not surprising. And I think if anyone is finding it surprising, then it's about time that they sort of woke up and smelt the coffee and realise why people have been campaigning to end violence against women and girls and to end sort of street harassment for such a long time, because it's a really pervasive problem. Further London-wide research conducted by the Women's Equality Party on women's experiences of sexual harassment found 80% reported having experienced sexual harassment and a further 19% reported having not experienced sexual harassment but having witnessed it. 94% of women said these experiences had a negative impact on them. You know, we probably underestimate actually how much time we spend planning and strategising just to keep ourselves safe in the world. And, you know, I think that adds to uh, women's mental load. I think it's harder just to enjoy um, the simple things and be in the moment. That constant presence of low level threat is exhausting. And it also means that, you know, when when incidents do happen, um, such as the one that's happened uh, with Sarah in our area very recently, it's very, it's very traumatizing um, and it's very frightening. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of misconceptions around it, you know, you know, that women invite it, for example, by the way they're behaving, by the way they're dressed or whatever, um, you know, it can happen to any woman, regardless of what you're doing or what you're wearing or where you are. Um, you know, there's misconceptions that it only happens after dark in kind of, you know, uh, very secluded places. <laughs> it happens in broad daylight, it happens in, in plain sight, in crowded places, in front of other people, you know. National data has also shown that 70% of domestic abuse cases in England and Wales were experienced by women aged 16 to 74. Two women a week are killed by a current or former partner in England and Wales, while males are most likely to be killed by a male friend, acquaintance or stranger. Because there's lots that could be done, you know, we could improve systems to report and to record uh, sexual harassment. At the moment, if you're sexually harassed, there's no real good way to report it. There's no real good way that it's recorded. And so because of that, it's hard to collect the data on, you know, where the where the hotspots are. If you could know where a hotspot was for sexual harassment, then they could, you know, maybe direct more police patrols and things that way. But at the moment, we're just not collecting that information. I think there's kind of the personal steps. Um, there's been a bit of attention of that on, on Twitter and in various articles about, you know, if you're walking home at night, give women space, don't walk behind them across the road, that kind of thing. Um, but I think what we're missing here is the more systematic steps. So, you know, we need men to actively engage in this, to start campaigning with and donating to the organisations that fight to end women and um, violence against women and girls. Um, that, you know, to start voting for parties that prioritise that so we get more people in positions of power who really care about that, um, to demand it from their MPs and their councillors and write to it and bring it, you know, bring it up as an issue that they're bothered about and they care about. You know, we know it's not all men, but it's every single woman who's affected and we need every single man to sort of step up, step up to the plate and help change things for us because we can't do it on our own. So listen to women and also speak out to their male friends as well and have these conversations and, you know, just get it part of the general discourse and get everybody involved in in ending violence against women and girls and making the world a safer place for everybody.